Welcome to Xamarin Android tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create a new activity inside our application. So, in previous tutorial, we just create a sim simple login screen that will contain the two text view and two edit text and a button. And the login button, inside the login button, we add the we added the login clicked event and the login clicked event uh, check the username and password uh, hard coded username and password if the username and password uh, will be correct then it will show the toast message so in this tutorial we are going to uh, create a new activity uh, that called um, dashboard activity uh, so after login successful uh, this activity navigate to the this activity will navigate to the dashboard activity Okay, so uh, here I'm going to create a new XML file for our dashboard activity. So go to resource under the resource, uh, select layout and um, right click on that layout and uh, select add new item and select Android layout and give I am giving the name of the layout is dashboard activity. Okay, so uh, this dashboard activity dot XML will contain the design of our dashboard activity okay so here i am going to create the code behind file of the dashboard activity xml uh, so uh, right click on the project and uh, add a new item and select activity and giving i am giving the name of the activity is dashboard activity so uh, the dashboard activity dot xml file contains the design of our dashboard activity and the dashboard activity class will contain the code behind file of the dashboard activity so uh, here i am uh, link linking the dashboard activity xml to the activity so um, just type set set content view and pass the layout so uh, for passing the layout type resource dot layout and give the name of the dashboard activity so our dashboard activity xml name is dashboard activity okay so uh, this dashboard activity link to the dashboard activity class okay so here uh, what i do i'm going to the main activity and um, inside the main activity the um, first if condition i'm just commenting out the toast message and here i am creating a new intent so what is intent a intent is a type of action that will used for communicate with with different activities so uh, there are two type of intent one is implicit intent and one is explicit intent so here i am using the explicit intent so ex explicit explicit intent will help you to communicate within our application so intent equals to new intent and here inside the intent uh, we just pass the two parameter first parameter is context context means the current activity means this this means the current activity main activity okay and the second parameter is the type of the activity where i we are going to navigate so the navigation activity is dashboard activity so i am going to convert the type of the dashboard activity okay so the activity will be navigated to the dashboard activity from this activity to the da dashboard activity and add the start activity and pass the intent okay so uh, here i am using the explicit intent and it will help you to navigate to the another activity so here after success the login matches the username and password it will start the dashboard activity so here i am going to run our application okay uh, so here is our application and uh, i am uh, typing the username as uh, admin and the password as 12345 so uh, after click on the login the login will be successfully done and uh, go to the dashboard activity and the dashboard activity does not contain any view for us so i am going to create a new view inside the dashboard activity.xml file so uh, click on the design view and inside the toolbox i am going to add a simple text view okay so here is our medium text view and uh, i am 
giving the text as so here i am going to do one thing uh, go to the main activity so after successfully login uh, we need to uh, remove the login page from the navigation so um, when we um, press the back button it will back to the login activity but uh, we don't need the login activity after successfully login so here i i am using uh, no history equals to true okay so run this application again okay so here is our application i am giving the name uh, username as admin and the password one two three four five and after clicking on the login button it will go to the dashboard activity and um, uh, you can notice that when we um, click on the one minute uh, back button it will close the application so uh, here we are using no history equals to true that means uh, when the main activity from the main activity we navigate to the uh, dashboard activity the main activity history will be cleared that means the main activity will be totally closed okay so that's for today uh, so what we uh, do in this video uh, just uh, we just create a new activity and um, link the dashboard activity xml file to our dashboard activity and we just navigate to the um, dashboard activity after the successfully login so next tutorial we learn how to pass the parameter to the dashboard activity so uh, that's for today thank you for watching have a great day